been to this Goodwill before, one of my first uh, videos at the Goodwill. Remember they have this beautiful vignette in front? So cute. See what they got going on today. Kind of looks like the 50s style <laughs> with the chrome and the glass. That's a nice cake pan. Wow. And they got some cranberry candy dishes. Can you see that? That's cute. And a nice, oh, look at that necklace with that, uh, this is like a mink wrap. That's gorgeous. Or a fox. Let me see. It looks like mink, but I love that necklace. And then these beautiful dazzling shoes. It's cute. Kind of like just how they stage it. And look at those flowers in that vase. That's beautiful. And then look how they have these trunks. Let me get a better view. See those trunks? That is cute. Let's look at the other one. Let's see what they got going on. So this is the Goodwill. That's the front entrance. And the vignettes on either side. Oh, okay. They have the same style going on. <laughs> it's kind of like Hollywood. <laughs> That's so cute. I wonder what made them think of that. That's so cute and darling. Yeah. Hollywood style. Oh, look at the bar. That is gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. I used to have one similar like that. What was my mom's? <laughs> That's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I love it. Wow. Okay, let's go inside. Let's grab a cart and get going. Um, I forgot to mention this is the Goodwill on Roswell Row in Atlanta, Georgia. It was packed. Uh, it was senior day, which was good, so I got a discount. <laughs> Yes, that was wonderful. I tend to miss, t uh, is it two? Yes, yeah, Tuesdays. Okay, but I tend to miss those days. But um, this is uh, some beautiful uh, pictures. That was in vintage, though. It was so light. But that first orange, that was gorgeous. I don't know why I didn't put it in the buggy. It was beautiful. Never seen it before. It slipped by me. And this was a uh, candle holder, a uh, modern piece. And this little guy here, he was beautiful. Um, I don't know if it was, a, I guess it's an elf slash kind of like a clown hat style, but beautiful. You see that color on there? Mm -mm -mm. A beautiful back stamp. It's a German piece. But unfortunately, he's missing a, a whole arm. Um, so sad little guy he's like uh fixing shoes he's a shoe gobbler oh man and then they had some beautiful plates platters these platters uh come from like dollar tree or something family dollar maybe but they look vintage like that looks like a vintage plate and, then, and that was beautiful too i think it was a hobbyist piece that was gorgeous looks like an art deco style Ria 07, beautiful, beautifully made. You know, if I had a big farmhouse or a big old house, those I would have grabbed that. <laughs> yes, indeed, it was gorgeous. And they always have tiles. You know, cute little hobbyist piece. And hobbyist means that someone made it, like in their uh, shop or in their class or at home. She was too darling. Oh, it was gorgeous. Like you could plant, put a couple of plants in there. It was from California Pottery. Yeah, that should have gone in the cart too. <laughs> and then I saw this and I right away I knew it was Fitz and Floyd. Once you see Fitz and Floyd, you know what it looks like. And there's the sticker. Beautiful. But it was cracked. And I don't need any crack Fitz and Floyd pieces. See the other end of the bow. See the bow on top and then you have the flaps coming down. The one on the right is missing. I'll show it to you. And you're going to see the big old crack. And I believe those are little apples on there. Or I'm not sure. But just beautiful. And you see the crack right there. Oh, that's a shame. 
And you know, they still sit those pieces out because people still purchase them. I thought these were vintage, but they're not. But they're cute. Or maybe like from Target or something. I'm not sure. They're really, really cute. And one doesn't have a top. I think that lid goes on that bigger piece. And then here's a uh, salt shaker. I do find the pepper. Those are really cute. They're vintage too. You see the bottom? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't snag those. <laughs> I gotta stop filming, guys. Okay, I think I might have to keep going through the store and then film afterwards, but it's too much work to backtrack. And that was gorgeous. Gold, diamond, I mean triangles. Cute little pumpkin. Some pottery pieces, and then I found this beautiful Christmas tree. I've never seen a large one like that, and it was vintage. It was so heavy. I didn't bring it home, though. I decided not to. I don't even have room for the ones I have, but I don't have one like that. <laughs> no, I've never even seen one that big. Some shells. And this was a cute little piece. I think it was Occupy Japan, I think. She's playing the piano, and he has his violin. So cute. Yeah, it's Occupy Japan. Says it right there. Once you see that brown font, that's Occupy Japan. That was darling. That should have gone in the cart, too. <laughs> oh, no. I would have had a cart full. Some artichokes. That should have gone in the cart too. A cute little pottery horse. And these were gorgeous. I've never seen this. They used coconut shells and they decorated them. Aren't those beautiful? This man had them in his cart. I was so happy that he purchased them. And then look at the pig. It's phenomenal. Wow. What a great job. Ooh. I should have snagged that pig. I should have snagged those. It's too late now. He took them home. And there's the pepper. Yeah. You know, you can't buy everything. You'll have a house. You won't be able to walk through your house. This was cute. Someone had that in their cart too. Beautiful vase. Has a nice look to it. All you need is love and a dog. That's a beautiful sign. I like the shape. I like the font. Everything about it. The color. If he had said something else, I would have purchased it perhaps. I didn't expect to find what I found in here. I thought it was like well, I guess maybe it was. Okay, I guess it was that. Normally you have like those crystal bottles in there. But, you know, it's missing. That's a cute trunk nevertheless. And then they had a lot of these cranberry, these thumbprints. And they were really, really worn. Somebody ran them through the dishwasher and ruined them. This is a white end cap. And then we have a black end cap. Cute little figurine. And these were gorgeous. It said Japan. They were gorgeous. They were so scratched up though. Because I might have purchased those. I've been wanting to start collecting some black dishes all over again. I don't know. I, I don't have, I'd have to make room for them. Oh, and then I found her. She's so darling. Her porcelain feet, hands, and her face. And uh, she's her body's like uh, stuffed. Yeah, of course, I she should have gone in the cart too. It's a beautiful find. Uh, like a man's jewelry box. Some beautiful lady. <laughs> She's sitting on her chaise. 
chilling. <laughs> I like that picture. I should have showed it a bit longer. They had some shower hooks, a large P. I think that was a cigar box. I believe so. That was nice. Um, this store to me really didn't have anything, but then they did have some cute items, you know, cute little items. That's why the store was packed. And I'm sure I missed out on a lot because as I was coming in, it was a big old crowd coming out and moving about and I go so slow. This was cute. I meant to look back at that after I finished filming in the aisle. Some uh, greeting cards. Yeah, I wanted to look through it to see if I found anyone that I liked that would have purchased it. Nice little uh, jewelry box, antique. I did put it in the cart. I decided not to buy it. I have so many, but I don't have one like that, you know. Mm, I, sh I hate I didn't bring it home. You know, a couple months back, I was buying so many things. Like, I didn't hardly had money for food items. So, you have to eat. So I have to be more picky. That's why I just coming home with a small haul. Um, that was heart, heart and hand or something like that. You know that couple. Uh. Can't think of the name. Gaines, the Gaines couple, the Gaines family, rather. It's a man and a wife, and they have uh, a lot of kids, and they had a lot of um, TV shows. I'm not sure the, really the name of those shows. It was so many years ago. I haven't followed them in years, but um, something Gaines, and that's their last name, Gaines. They make heart and hand, I believe. Not 100% sure. Beautiful wife. I love her. She's amazing. I don't know why I can't remember her name. And that was nice. Those wooden little houses remind me when I was a kid in elementary school. The teacher would pull all that stuff out and you'd play with it. You wanted to take it home, but you knew you couldn't. <laughs> that was a nice, lovely picture, picture frame. this nutcracker to be vintage he was quite heavy and the paint was different from what's normally on a nutcracker and these were out of this world i guess they were placemats you see the art on that these are actual drawings 
And this one has like a pelican. And then this one has some ducks or geese or swan. Just beautiful. It's gold. I don't know what I would do with them. I wanted to purchase them so bad. I think they were from Australia. I can't remember. Let's read. Yes, Australia. Beautiful. Look at that back stamp. It's to die for. Whoever purchased those, that was a great find. Mm. And here's an end cap. I put that open. That's why I went to it. It looks like they burnt the handle. That's a nice set. Candle holder. They made it like the turning, you know, like the brass pieces on furniture or your candlestick holders. That's a cute replica. And I remember her there the last time we were here, but she had a husband. I didn't see him. It's a shame someone bought, they just bought the man, but I'm thinking maybe they were separated and they didn't see her. It's sad. I know she misses him. And this was gorgeous. It was a, a Christmas lights in the shape of cows. Oh, I've never seen that before. It's beautiful. I, I left it. it no matter, I really wanted to, to bring it home, but unfortunately it's left behind for someone else to enjoy. The whole set, it was gorgeous. I believe it was three dollars and change. What a great price for vintage. And then this beautiful um angel. And it's paper mache. I have one similar to this. In fact I have two. Mine doesn't stand that tall though. That was beautiful. If I had a closet for a Christmas closet. I would have purchased her and stuck her right in there. She stands on top of your tree. Just beautiful. Beautiful piece. Some beautiful pottery. I love the hand painted pieces. Just beautiful. You see that outside? It's beautiful. I'm sure it's Italian. Didn't have the mark as a tie. He said, girl, Patterson. And here's some false crafts. And they, they price them separately. It's very expensive that way. And then this was, I almost bought these home for resale. The brown bags. I found another one too. Um, they're very collectible, but... Um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to start selling, and I don't know who's going to buy other than two people. So I'm not really, I'm not even looking forward to that anymore. I, I already started my account on Etsy. I got that going. I'll give you guys the link once I get it going. For those who are interested. I would rather sell on uh, YouTube, though. It's a much larger platform. And you have these two beauties. I didn't turn them around. They were too heavy. And, you know, you can put your nuts, your tacos, your dip, whatever. Party pieces. That one had a crack, a couple of cracks. But the one on the bottom looked, looked like it was in great condition. The one on the bottom was much nicer, too. I, I wanted to bring this home, but I decided to leave it. You don't see beautiful pieces like this much, but... Just because it's beautiful, that means that doesn't mean you have to buy it. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, beautiful art. Oh, my God. I hate I had to even see it again. It's so depressing that I had to leave that.
haven't gone through mugs in quite a while, so I kind of took my time, and the store was so crowded, and there was no one in this little section, at least not for the moment. Uh, these were by Otto Gary. I checked for, like, um, you know, plates or bowls. I couldn't find any, so I decided to leave them. I was going to just purchase one because it has these beautiful paintings on them but i just decided to leave them as a set and pray somebody buys the whole set see it's art to gary and you could uh remember their symbol it looks like a diamond with like flowers on it or something but just lovely scene just beautiful pieces i've never seen the ducks i've seen the, the geese the birds and then i haven't seen that one on the right just beautiful I couldn't get those in a cart fast enough, but I didn't bring them home. And then you find some Ray Dunn, which I love. <laughs> a modern twist. I don't know why I like Ray Dunn. It's modern, but I like it. But I didn't purchase any of these. They had great prices on them. And that was nice by Wedgwood. I used to have tons of Wedgwood years ago. I sold it all. That was beautiful. Mugs are always so happy, just lifts your spirit. And then I found another brown bag piece, just some beautiful pottery pieces and the prices were amazing. I'm not sure what they're going for lately. I need to check because if it's a high price, I might need to pick them up. This was depressing. You see it's broke right there. And that's a beautiful, I believe it's a four-leaf clover. It's gorgeous. I've never seen that before. You see, one, two, three, four. Maybe, I'm not sure. Then I found this cut glass. It's gorgeous. Crystal, rather. That is crystal, cut crystal. Couldn't put it in the cart quick enough. I guess that's a laundry basket. Yeah, very cute. $12.99. Come on, Goodwill. That could have been like $4. Some dog cages, a beautiful, beautiful coffee table. I like with those three glass inserts. That's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Some wrought iron or cast iron. Beautiful. And I guess that's the match to that coffee table. That is lovely. Those two pieces would be gorgeous in your home. I should have purchased both of them because I could put one behind the couch and one in the uh, middle of the floor. I don't know what I would do with this other one. I love this little piece too. The glass is missing though. A nice iron. Oh, is that a planter? Oh, that's a planter. Oh, no, I should have really purchased it. It's too late now. I don't want to drive back. It's so much traffic. Oh, it would take me about two hours just to get there and get back, and then it may be gone. I thought it was a table, and I'm like, the glass is missing, but it's actually a planter. You put a plant in there. That would have been cute for my front porch. Well, it's too late now. I'll, I'll get the next one. And I think this is a uh, rack to hang your towel. That had a nice price, $4. I didn't notice that birdcage. I'm just seeing it now. This is beautiful. I thought it was ephemera, like someone actually cut out some, you know, old cards or something, some postcards, but it's all sealed up, and it has a label, so a store sells this, so I guess it's not ephemera. I don't know. Could be. Maybe, maybe this company just packaged it for the person. Oh, I really wanted to get it. Um, I, I, I put it in the cart, then I took it out, and then I put it back in the cart, then I took it back out. Beautiful. They had a lot of puzzles, a lot of stuffed animals. I was thinking I could use those next year for my video, but this man asked for them. I gave them to him. <laughs> he said he wanted them for his kids.
you stay to the end. God bless you. And please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. My haul will be coming up. God bless and love you, love you guys so, so much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is my haul. Um, you know, the last time I went to that store, I don't think I got much of anything. That's why I haven't been back. Um, and, uh, yeah, but you know, I, I love and collect these sand dollars, especially when they have paintings on them. That is a pelican on an island and a beach with seagulls flying in the back. That is just beautiful. $2.09. And whoever made it signed it in 85. <laughs> what does this say? Jeff something? That's just darling. I really need to stop picking them up. I have quite a few now. <laughs> And this, there's no reason why I bought it other than it's cut glass. You know, when you rub it on the, the edges and it feels like it's going to cut you. Uh, that's cut glass. Beautiful piece. I think this was uh, $5. Yes, it's beautiful. But I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I think I might just sell that piece because I can make a profit. And then I bought some tea. It's actually a new box of tea. It's in there, packaged new. And I only bought it for this little thing because the one that I had, it broke. So, like, this part got stuck in the dishwasher. When I, well, I don't run my dishwasher. I just put, when I wash, I put it in there to, to air dry. And um, this part got stuck. You know, like, where, the, where you put your forks and stuff, that got stuck so it broke off. Yeah, so, I mean, it's so cute. Why not? <laughs> so, and how much was this? Uh, $3.09. That was kind of high for some tea, but uh, this got to be worth at least 15 bucks. So, and then I bought some stones for my garden. A small little bag. I think this was $5. Yeah, $5. It's a small little bag, but they're so cute. They kind of remind me of moonstones. So I got that. We'll put that on some one of the plants. So just a small haul. My favorite item have to be this, of course. I just love it. It's beautiful. I may just sell this one because I have quite a few. Quite a few. I may just sell that one. Okay, God bless. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So I knew it was something about these. I said they look like moonstones. They glow in the dark. What? <laughs> I'm so glad I bought them, but it doesn't say it on the package. Maybe I need to take my time and read it. Okay. Well, all right. I didn't know they actually glow in the dark. That is cute. <laughs> watch again. I mean, watch. I mean, because they look like moonstones, and that's why I paid the $5 for such a small bag. But, wow, they glow in the dark. So, I guess at night. Too late.